Hello everyone, welcome back to another Hornby Thomas review. I usually do these on my other account, so this is the first one I'm doing on my main uh, channel. If you want to see my other reviews, uh, just search Lucky Mushroom Productions on YouTube. It should be called LMP now, if you want to see all my other reviews. Some of them are old, but uh, yeah, I've reviewed all my other engines in my collection. And let me know if you want me to re-review them on this channel, though. Might be interesting. So today I have a review on the Hornby Henry. Now for those who know me, they might be saying, well, you've done a review on Hornby Henry already. But I did a review on the 2015-16 model, and usually those models are just repaints with maybe slightly altered motors at most. But with Henry, he was built completely different. So for that reason, I'm going to cover them separately and compare them a little bit in this video. So, this is the 2005 model. The engine says 2004, I believe, and the instruction manual says 06, uh, if my memory serves me right. But the back of the box is 2005, so we're just going to go off the back of the box. So, as you can see here, you have the uh, early to, I think it was late 2000s, I, I believe. Yeah, up to like 2009, I think, box here. Thomas, the Thomas and Friends Cloud, and all the characters down there. And on the side, it says Henry the Green Engine. On the back, you have all the other characters. I have Thomas, Percy, James, Gordon, Duck, and Toby. I'm getting these two, though, so soon I'll have all of them on the back. I also have um, most of this. Uh, almost all that rolling stuff. There's this Thomas and Friends again, and I don't think I showed you. Sorry, real quick. On the back, it does say 2005, if you can make that out there. On the back or on the bottom it's just a bunch of warnings in uh, multiple languages so oh hit logo too without further ado let's get Henry out All right, let's move that back there and here's Henry now there are holes in the back of the box like usual with these older Hornby locomotives, but since it's a railroad model, or a Thomas model, it's not a super, super detailed one. I can just pull it out by the running board and it's not going to hurt anyone. Uh, maybe not do that with Murdoch or Spencer or even Bear, but with Henry I think it's okay. And there you go. So real quick before we look at Henry, I'll just fly you through the instruction manual here. Ringfield motor, which is your standard motor at the time for like Fowler tender driven uh, locos. So you have uh, Gordon, or for the Thomas range, you would have Gordon, Edward, James, and Henry have Ringfield motors. Uh, Flying Scotson might. I don't own him just yet. I'm getting him very soon. So I can't confirm if he has one or not, but I believe he does. Uh, and then in there, just have general maintenance. No television super, uh, sorry, television interference thing down there like there usually is. But yeah, pretty standard stuff. Um, just figured I'd go over that for those who don't know what that looks like. So on to Henry here. I will just lower this slightly so we can get a better look at Henry. All right. I'm not going to take you through the history of Henry because I'm sure you clicked on this video because you know who Henry is, you just want to see what the model is, and that's fair enough. Uh, but Henry himself is based on a Black 5, which this model is based on the railroad tooling of a Black 5, so it's not like extremely detailed, but you have the necessary details and extra, because the television series model actually didn't have much detail itself. Um, this has more detail than the one in the show. Um, but real quick, before I get onto the main model himself, I just do want to do a quick comparison with the new style Henry. I sold his chassis a while ago for spares and repairs because I knew someone who needed uh, spare wheels. So if you just look at the body here, the colors are obviously different. The face is the same, just painted different. I'm not a fan of this light green at all. I think it's a lime, too much of like a lime green. I'm just not a fan of it really. Uh, I mean the application is nice, it's just the color is just not as crisp as this one in my opinion. On the back, the detail is actually the same, I just painted this one a while ago. The main difference, though, that I want to cover is the tenders, because the way they are driven is completely different. They look the exact same. Granted, when you buy a Henry, any of them, this black is not here. It's actually green like, like that. 
Um, but as you can see, they look the same, and actually in the hands, they weigh about the same, which is 95% of the reasons why most of these new style Henrys fail. Because the new style Henry is loco driven, not tender driven. But they have kept the tender motor block in there. The big motor, sorry, the big metal piece that holds the motor. So this tender is very heavy, and that's fine when the motor's in the tender, because more weight, more power, right? This has no motor in it, so your new style Henry, which is not built as good and it's a lot weaker, which is loco driven, has to carry around all this weight even when it's not pulling any coaches or trucks or anything. So what ends up happening is you get a lot of wheel slip, which leads to crank pins falling out notoriously on the new models, and uh, stripped gears, which is what happened to my Henry. So I don't recommend the new Henry. It might look nice to you, and that's great. It, I mean, it looks pretty nice. It's just the performance is not good. It's not very good at all. So I just figured I would cover that because um, there is actually quite a big difference between how the new one and the old one are run. I prefer the older one, <laughs> not just because it's new to me, but it has run better in the few days I've had it um, than the new Henry ever has, and this model is... 15 years old at this point, just about. 15, 16 years old. So, all right, on to Henry. The shape of him looks just like the Rally series. So even if you're a Bachman enthusiast or just not a huge Hornby fan, uh, most people appreciate this model, which is nice because they did a very good job. The face is so perfectly sculpted. I love the face. Even the top view and everything. I mean, it's just very, very well done. It looks very happy. Um, the vacuum pipes, um, I got my Henry, he was only running about once, so his vacuum pipes are actually still in the bag, and I actually had to take this one off to fit it in the box again for this review, so I'm just gonna put it back on real quick, just so y'all can see what it looks like with it on, so there it is. Um, so, the paintwork is spot on. It looks actually kind of dark on this camera, but it's a little bit lighter in real life, which is nice. It's a it's a good, solid green color. As you can see, he is tender driven, not loco driven. You can just roll him along. Uh, the oh, uh, something weird about this model, and I don't know if it's accurate to a real black fives because I can picture it in my head what a real black five looks like, obviously. But I'm, I'm my mind's drawing a blank whether a real black five has lamp irons. I, I believe it should, but. Um, that would only make sense. Uh, this model does not, um, which doesn't distract, obviously, because there's nothing there to distract, I guess. But uh, it's just interesting that uh, the other tender engines, I think almost all of them have lamp irons. So at least one B can't fit them upside down. Um, you have the safety valves. You have you know, whistles. The boiler bands look very nice. Interesting, this piece here is plastic, which is, I, 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 on the new one it is metal, which is an improvement on the new one. I don't know why that's plastic. Uh, the gray obviously doesn't match up that well, but it's a lot more noticeable on camera. Which is interesting, but uh, I don't know why they went with that. So, probably just, if you're, if you run your trains a lot, like I do, probably be safe too lubricate that every once in a while just so the plastic doesn't wear off it probably won't like i mean 99 percent it won't but you know better safe than sorry uh, and then as i showed you the inside has detail and the pickups for the tender the tender is nice it looks like a black five tender um this part should be painted black it doesn't bother me as much as it uh did on gordon um again i've, I've gotten used to these because i have owned so many of the Hornby Thomas models over the years. And Hornby's regular engines usually have this not painted black because in real life, a lot of these, um, I, my mind is drawing to a blank right now what, what these are called, or axle boxes. Um, there, there you go. Uh, usually they are the same color as the tender. Um, God, classes ex escape my name right now. There's some, a royal engine class. Usually I know my, my stuff pretty well, but um, my I haven't done one of these in a long time. Uh, but yeah, usually they are the same color as the tenders, so I guess Hornby was trying to stick in their style of these can blend in with the regular range, which is nice. 
detail back here, not a lot. Uh, no brake lever or, or anything like that. Um, and the coal is rather large, so it actually looks pretty realistic because in real life coal is not like microscopic little rocks. Like, it's very large. Uh, on the back you have the lamp, I guess you call these lamp hooks. Uh, the dummy coupling is okay. It's okay. And underneath you have 12 volt made in China Hornby. And overall, this is one of the better Hornby Thomas models. And it is a far, far, far improvement over the new style Henry. And I don't just say that because I prefer it, but I have never had to sell one of my Hornby models for spares and repairs besides this new style Henry. They've all worked, all of them, even the ones through the 80s and late 70s have been fine for me. But these new ones from 2016, I don't know whether it's because the CEO switched over or... Uh, from Hornby or what the deal is, but this is not good at all. Um, these old style Henrys are not cheap. Um, I think mine was 150. It was like 130 quid, so with inflation now, and I think it's 150, 160 US. Um, so I mean, look, it's not horrible actually. I've seen Henrys go for far more and way more than what I would personally pay for a Henry, but. I would say don't go much higher than 150 something. And the thing is about Hornby models is they only get more expensive throughout the years. I mean, Murdoch quadrupled in price since he's been released, or almost six times. His price has increased almost six times since he's been released, which is outrageous. Um, so I would just hop, even if it's expensive now, it's just gonna get more expensive through the years, unfortunately. That's just kind of how it is. Because I don't think Hornby has any plans of bringing these back or at least in the old livery. So, uh, unlike my other reviews, I actually think I will run him really quick, not around the whole layout. I'll just do a quick back and forth just so you can see his slow speed, etc. I don't want this video to get too, too long. So I will show you what he looks like. So here we are. Real quick, I'm going to, there we go. I'm just gonna rest the camera here real quick as I put him onto the rails here. There we go. So I use a Bachman controller on my layout and even with the Bachman controller and it being tender driven and uh, analog, the slow speed is pretty impressive. Um, let's see, sorry, I didn't put them on the rails quite right. So we'll just run them back and forth real quick. Very smooth. I barely had to run this guy in, which is impressive. But you can see he's a very nice runner. And he's very fast too, I won't show that off. Just yet, because I have some other engines on the line. But he runs very, very well. Even on this Code 83 track, which some Hornby engines don't like very much, he seems just fine. So, I highly recommend Henry. If you're a Thomas fan, it's almost essential to have Henry. Or if you are a Thomas fan with a pretty good sized wallet, I think that would make a lot more sense to have a Henry because he's not cheap. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. I will have more Hornby Thomas reviews coming soon. And um, yeah, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.